<laughs> Good morning, I'm Scott Lewis. This is my 66 Chevy van. Uh, picked this up a couple years ago from a gentleman named Tom Ridenauer. He did most of the heavy lifting. By that I mean he's got the uh, motor change out. He uh, put in a 2007 GMC uh, uh, LS motor. Um, so it goes anywhere I want it to go and when I want it to go there. Uh, it's got a nice protective paint job on it. I'll probably be updating that here in uh, about four or five years. And um, I really enjoy driving it around. <clears throat> I'll probably end up giving it to my son. Um, he's an arborist out in Colorado. So we're gonna do a two-tone paint job and maybe put his logo on it and uh, see if he can get some more use out of it than I do. Um, we can walk around. Nothing real. One of the things you might notice is these aren't the factory headlights. Uh, of course, those were upgraded. Kind of adds a little custom character to it with the LEDs. They, they come on when you turn the key on. Um, one thing unique about this van <clears throat> is all the glass is flat. So when you're driving it, you're catching reflections from every direction. And um, I never used to wear sunglasses until I started driving this van and now I wear sunglasses just so I can depict reflections from actual. Where a lot of the reflection comes in. The chrome on the steering wheel will blind you depending on the location of the sun. <laughs> it's a, um, it's a uh, 5.3 liter. LS uh, or a Vortec motor uh, came out of a truck. Since I've had it, um, I had a wrap put on it with my company logo. I call it my billboard. Uh, haven't done too much work in the back other than to make it presentable. But uh, that's coming down the road also. We've got uh, some plans drawn up for maybe a little bit of a cabinet work there with the refrigerator. Probably put a TV on it um, and a rear AC. Um, and that's about it. Right now I've got a disc brake conversion on the front end of this and I'm planning on uh, maybe upgrading the rear axle to a disc brake conversion as well. Uh, after I picked up the van, I, I lowered it down. I did it the uh, inexpensive way by removing leaf springs. Um, this, of course, impacted my pinion angle with my rear end and my drive shaft. And uh, <clears throat> a good friend of mine, Mike Roy, uh, was able to uh, shim my rear axle. And now I don't have the violent shaking at startup. And um, it's gotten to the point where it runs so well, I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to it right away. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a shot of the wrap that I had put on there uh, by uh, uh, Coffs. Uh, they do really well, really good work. And um, I call it my billboard now because, uh, again, it's such, such a pleasure to drive that I drive it everywhere and uh, puts my name out there. A lot of people wonder if that's my house on the side. I'm afraid that's just one of the houses that I built. Uh, I don't live in anything that large. And... Uh, it's a real fun vehicle. I like to take it to the beach a lot. Uh, my wife doesn't get to use her paddleboard too much anymore because uh, it's become part of the van. <laughs>